Now, in recent years, we've seen a boom in alternative payment methods. You can pretty much pay for anything without having to withdraw any money or make a cash payment. But despite this, the innovation of payment systems, um, cash robberies remain a real and a harsh reality. And back in studio with us, we have Kelly Pile, the CEO of Sabric, the South African Banking Risk Information Center, to shed some light on how to carry cash safely, which my grandmother would have said is just in your brazier. But unfortunately, we don't all <laughs> wear one. So why is it that we still are hearing stories about cash robberies? Is that really still that prominent? It absolutely is, unfortunately. You know, there's a lot of people that still believe uh, that it's better to carry cash. People want to actually see the money. Mm -hmm. uh, and so unfortunately, you know, people who, individuals, businesses, stock fells and savings clubs, you know, unfortunately become the victims of criminals who know that cash is available and of oh, course see the end of the month targets. is coming and now you Absolutely. all need to put into the motel or the stock fell Absolutely. and they know that that's the time. Sure. And, you know, and that's really important. So stock fell, I mean, people are, are, are saving their hard earned money. And so we're saying to them, there's so many different ways that you can actually do your banking or, or transfer the amount that you need to contribute each month without having to physically touch cash. Yeah. And so, you know, we're encouraging, the banks are encouraging people, especially in savings clubs or even individuals, go into your bank, find out about the different banking solutions that are on offer that will prevent you all from having to draw cash. With Stockpiles, we're saying, look, at the end of the month when you do uh, uh, need to pay over mm -hmm. to whoever's collecting it, why don't you do an EFT? Arrange with your bank, you can do a debit order, you can do an EFT, they'll teach you how to actually do it. Let the money pass electronically even for the person who's managing the stock fell. Mm -hmm. Instead of having to go into a bank branch and draw out this huge, a large sum of cash in order to pay over or to distribute, rather arrange to transfer it directly into people's accounts as well so that you're actually not uh, faced with the, with the threat of, of, being, of being robbed. Mm. And people know this in the communities. They know who's collecting monies. They ah. know who's, you know, there's, there's all kinds of saving uh, clubs now. I mean, for instance, why is it that people fall victim to, um, you know, cash robberies? Is it because, you know, once you've withdrawn the money, you're not vigilant, your mind is on something else, you're not aware of your surroundings? Well, you know, uh, th that could be one of it because what we're finding is the more prevalent way in which the perpetrator gets information, and I must say this, often people think that it's bank staff and it's actually not the position at all. The, the, the perpetrators are a number of people because it's organized. So they have somebody inside the bank who are what we call spotters and they stand there and they watch to see who's drawing um, a significant amounts of mm -hmm. cash um, and they of course notify their, their, their counterparts or their co-perpetrators uh, mm -hmm. about it and they follow them. But we're we, we saying, you know, know that the demand for cash is always there. Yeah. It's quick and easy. Get hold of the cash and, and you go. So, so they follow you as well. So we, uh, with businesses, we often say, try to use unbranded vehicles, change the days of the week that you do your banking, uh, 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 develop a relationship with more than one branch. Don't go to the same branch all the time. Okay. Even with individuals, don't tell too many people when you're going to draw money. But if you have to draw cash, uh, then, of course, try and go with somebody who you can trust so that you have somebody with you as well. Mm -hmm. And um, with, with the issue on wages, you know, we, we certainly would be encouraging uh, any employer to make sure that their staff have bank accounts. Yeah. You're actually putting them at risk as well by, by paying over the cash. So not only is the business uh, resource that's drawing the cash at risk, but also the, your staff. That, that's receiving it. Yeah, I guess at the end of the day, the, the, the top tip is kind of like, you know, the best way of carrying cash safely is just not to carry cash. It's yes, rather because use you, all can, the other you can do method. all your payments uh, with a card. You can do it at an ATM if you don't have a computer. Absolutely. You know, you can pay people via the ATM as yeah. well. So I think most certainly people should go into the bank branch, speak to the bank about the different solutions out there and, and rather bank, do your banking differently. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us once again and uh, enlightening us on the fact that Scalum is always out there on the prowl looking for new victims and you don't want to be that victim. So avoid carrying large amounts of cash and of course opt for alternate banking methods such as cell phone banking and internet banking which is available at all major banks. So for more tips on how you can wise up and watch out, visit the Sabric website and you can also uh, check them out on Facebook and on their Twitter pages. Wise up, watch out.